out of the city and into the wild. Beyond the concrete jungle of Hong Kong are hundreds of trails, snaking through mountains and hills. It's a perfect escape from the rat race, a respite from the noisy city of 7 million. 40% of Hong Kong is protected country park and its hikes have been voted one of the world's best by the National Geographic Society. The country parks are an important heritage of Hong Kong, not only for our generation, but also for the generations to come. It's important that people can enjoy the convenience of the parks. So this is a valuable part of Hong Kong. But prime land is scarce, and the city has some of the world's highest property prices. The government has proposed building on the fringes of the parks, raising fears development could encroach into Hong Kong's nature enclaves. And for many, the price of giving up these mountains for a tiny apartment is just too high. Now there are more people hiking. There are also more who truly care about nature and the mountains. They pay attention to whether Hong Kong's natural sites are being damaged or whether there are plans to develop these areas. A. M. Reynolds and Da Yu hike every week and have attracted a large social media following. For them, Hong Kong's nature helps them get through the daily grind. When you go hiking, you distance yourself from everyday troubles. Because you're making an effort to go to a place where you wouldn't usually go, and the process of reaching there may be challenging. So when you arrive, you'll start to let go of your usual stress. As the fame of the country parks flourishes and visitors increase, there is yet hope that Hong Kong's mountains could be saved.